Hey folks, Richard Ashville, Craft Instruments. I'm going to show you a dulcimer that I'm getting ready to put in a box and get it shipped out the door today. This is one we made for a very special person. This is one of Wendy Sanja's new dulcimers. The body is made entirely of paduk, the, the back, the sides, the head. The fretboard is made of maple. We've got a Wenge veneer on the fretboard, micarta nut and bridge pieces. This one is a chromatic dulcimer. And I don't know how the best way to show you this, this is a radius fretboard. So if you sight down the fretboard, it's actually arced this way. I'm going to pick the camera back up and see if I can line it up where you can see that arc just a little bit. There you go. It's higher in the middle than it is on the outside, just by a millimeter or two. It's not much. Uh, we did use, we put a Galax back on this one. We used spacers made out of maple to match the fretboard. I think that looks really, really sharp. And this one, of course, has a western red cedar top with Wendy's signature flame sound holes. And if you look at these flames, though, this is something new we're trying here. This has a, the, 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 dark, the dark black that you're seeing, these are actually cutouts. The red that you're seeing, I'm, I experimented with a red dye in some CA glue just to see how this is going to work out. And you can actually see through it. You can't see it in the camera, but you can see through it. You can see the wood grain underneath it, which is really, really cool. Anyway, so you've got you got a little bit of texture there, and you've got some color, and it actually came out pretty close to matching the color of the sides, which is not intentional, but I think it's a nice touch also. This instrument, of course, is chromatic, so it's got all the extra frets, not just the one and a half and the six and a half, but the other three that make it a full chromatic instrument. This is set up with three strings. We've got four tuners on it, and the four tuners, we actually gave it two extra slots. There's an extra slot here and an extra slot here, that allows us to put four equally spaced strings on there, which Wendy is known, for, known to do that every once in a while. Four equal spacing or three equally spaced strings. Right now we're tuning DAD. -D. I'm just going to play, this is a chromatic, so I'm not going to play anything complicated. I'm going to play you a little bit of boiled and cabbage. It'd be helpful if I start on the right note, wouldn't it? Here we go. show you all the harmonics yeah kind of kind of cool it came out real nice oh i didn't point out this one does have our nt11 pickup so right here inside this little box of maple there's actually a pickup inside that that box is, is flush with the fretboard on the top there's actually a pickup inside there 8250 winds of very very fine copper wire around several magnets one magnet underneath each string and that somehow creates electricity and the electricity goes through the control panel with the volume and the tone knobs. And then it goes from there to the output jack where you plug it into an amplifier. Anyway, so that's our NT11 pickup, something we make here in the, in the shop these days. And that's all I've got. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.